Hey guys, what's up? Long Desert here. And this is a commentary 3 versus 3 siege battle. And this is a very, very large siege battle, actually. And you can see I am rushing out with some Citizen Cav. And I'm playing as Epirus. My allies are Egypt and Macedon. We're going up against two Roman players and a Kush player. Kush, Kush player. So I'm running out with my Citizen Cav just to try to get some early kills. And I knew this unit was pretty much going to be wasted. And as you can see, this unit revealed a Kushite slave infantry, which will be useful at um, towards the end of the battle. So he's going to run up his armor desert cab, then he's going to run over some swordsmen and all these other troops just trying to pin this unit down. And I'm going to get my citizen cab into the Kushite archers here. Now, there's one thing, I didn't see this at the start, but now seeing, I saw it like halfway through the battle, was I realized he had Hellenic Royal Guard, which is utter bullcrap. He used the um, glitch to get the unit, which... You'll see he doesn't even use them correctly in the siege, but yeah, he decided to cheat to try to win. So my army is three archers, two Thrail spears, two two levy pikemen, a Agrionian axeman, an Italian sword, three Illyrian levies, two hublites, and I'm running that Illyrian levy over there. I have my Hellenic royal guard general, my three Samnites, and my one Greek scorpion, and then I have some um, stones and caltrops up here. The rules for this battle were f max 4 skirmishers, max 1 artillery, and max 5 of the same unit. So my ally has, I think, uh, 2. Is that it? Is it 2 levy thoreo spears? Um, like 2 Hellenic royal guard. And then he's got 4 Egyptian, no, 2 Egyptian slingers and 2 Nubian bows. Then he has 2. Three. Three Glacian swords. A bunch of Egyptian infantry. Five Egyptian infantry. Three Thorax swords. Is that it? And then I think he has a Glacian Royal Guard over there, which he left with me. Um, I don't know why, honestly. Um, Macedon. Macedon kind of spike spammed. Um, he's got a Royal Peltus General. One two actually maybe he didn't well I only see two pikemen I see four pikemen actually four archers one two two four hublites and a, a shield bearer thrail spears militia hublites and a bunch more thrail spears I thought he had five pikemen did he one, two, three. No, he only has three. No, he's got four. And then they complained. The other team, start, um, Roman players, started complaining about the pikemen, which there's not even that many, as you can see here. But this guy's got, like, four brinkapes or something. <laughs> he's got five legionnaires. One. He's got two brinkapes, a vilite, and three Syrian archers. He's got a Hastati. He's got a lot of Hastati and Legionary cohorts. Now, this guy over here, he brought all Victorians. Um, I think he was pretty new to the game, which is fine. I actually like seeing new people because it kind of keeps the game alive. Um, I mean, nothing really keeps Rome 2 alive except for like the people who have 10,000 hours on the game, which I do not. So, Kush is coming up. I ran out with some Illyrian levies here, or Italian swords actually, just to pin these Kushite slave infantry down for a little bit. Um, and he's just going to keep pushing through, which I kind of find bullcrap when people do this. It's actually really annoying that they'll just keep going on and then they'll give an attack order with another unit. My Italian sword doesn't actually do bad against this armor desert cav. I think it gets a few kills here. And my sound is very loud. Um, yeah, because it starts getting a, a few kills, which is actually really good. And it's also still bringing down the slave infantry numbers. And he's going to pull out here. I'm still getting this unit, but I'm actually going to turn around just for the javelin volley here. This unit's going to go from 159 to 146 in just one volley from the Italian swords. And it's starting to lag really bad. Holy crap. He's going to come back with the Italian um, armor desert cab, and I'm going to throw my Italian swords back into the fight. And just get a few more kills on this unit here, which I was fine again fine with here. 
Cavalry can be used deadly in a siege, but you can see he's not going to use... I thought I had cow shops here. Yeah, they're right here. I should have put them closer, but I was afraid they'd kill my calf. And those things are massive. Those are way too big. No one makes a cow trap that big. Unless that's actually how they're supposed to be, but I don't remember. Historically, at least, what they looked like. This Italian sword started to waver. I don't know why. And then it just broke at 80 men. But he's just going to waste a bunch of ammo on it and get a bunch of friendly fire. So I was fine with that. Their sacrifice was not in vain. They actually did really good. They brought this unit down to 133, and this went down to 138. So I tried to burn the siege tower. Um, I think I just stopped trying. The, or no, I, I didn't try to. I should have. I should have turned my archers on fire arrows and started burning it. We, I could have burned it down, but yeah. My Illyrian levies, I don't understand this. They start losing to these guys, like, immediately as soon as the fight begins. They just start getting beaten. And it says it's a high threat. I don't understand how it's a high threat. But yeah, that's Rome too. So I'm rushing that unit over here, and I'm probably missing a lot of combat. Um, no, actually, it's just starting with the Prank Victorians. Over here, it's a massive. I don't. This was kind of a bad idea on his part. He made a very bad. Um, like he should have made multiple holes along along the wall here, and he should have brought more of these. I don't know why he only brought three, but he will slaughter these Levy Pikemen once if they're not in Phalanx formation, even with the, I burped. Even with the support of the um the Rail Spears. Unless the Glacian Swords can do something there. Um, he's just kind of putting other troops here, blocking up the exits. He put a Levy Pikeman over here, but still, even then, they're just getting pushed back. Well, no, they're kind of holding. With the support of the Glacian Sword, but the Glacian Sword will be overrun if um, some Hastati get down there. Now, over here, this is just, this isn't fair. This Legionary Cohort might lose his Thorax Sword. But over here, these Le the Thorax Swords are getting destroyed by these Victorians. Same thing over here, there's just no hope for these Thorax Swords. And these are, yeah, these are Thorax Swords. I mean, they won't do bad with the Tower Support. Actually, the Tower will get more kills than the Thorax Sword does. But now the Nubian Archers are in range, so they'll actually get a bunch of kills on those guys. Um, Not much is happening. I got that unit over there, I saw that, like I said before, I saw that. Now something what this guy should have done, is he should have taken these Archers, and instead of doing this, he should have ran them up around and put them on this hill, because I'm pretty sure I... Actually, you know what? I actually don't... Never mind. They may or may not be in range. Like, if you put them right here, I think they would be in range, but they might not be. And then he could have um, taken the wall a lot quicker. But yeah, I didn't see this. He was shooting my Levy Pikemen. Um, I don't lose the unit, but... Yeah, I stabilize, but I use, lose a lot of it. So you can see, I'm trying to burn the Siege Tower down. It's so that's 61%, and I thought I had hope to burn it down. And he just gets closer, and eventually I think I gave up here. This one also almost fell. It's, down to, it's up to 60. They're down to 60. Now, the Kushite Slave Infantry, again, they're beating my Illyrian levies. I don't even understand that. And then I burned half my unit here. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. I shot the crap out of my unit, which I was fine with. Because they, they were more sacrificial units. Now, back over here. This is a really big siege battle, and a long one, so grab your snacks and drinks. Um, legionary cohorts are getting through. I hate it again when people do this. She's just gonna run by the unit like it's not even there. And this unit's gonna get beaten by a hublete that is. Yup, this is the new formation. This is the uh, trend of the year right here, guys. <laughs> get in a conga line with your friends. <laughs> so, over here, my ally's just kinda tr trying to contain them with the support of Egypt. But, yeah, Levy Pikemen will be destroyed. Shield Bearers, however, those units will hold, especially with their charge bonus. I mean, they have a pretty good charge bonus, and even Thrail Spears in Square will help out really well. And the support of the Hublites, too. But mainly Levy Pikemen doing all the work here. Um, back over here. Not much is happening. I got my Hublite onto the wall, and I am going to start winning the skirmish fight here with my archers. And this siege tower is down to 76, and this slave infantry is kind of losing. Um, he is, he starts winning, like he was winning because I wasn't really paying attention. This arch is down to 10 though and hasn't broke yet. So that's a world, no, oh, it's down to 9, that's a world wet. no, there it goes. <laughs> um, I got two left, but I usually don't even use like archers that much in siege battles. I mainly bring like the rail spears or peltas, but this time I decided to. But I still have two Thrail Spears. 
My Agrioni and Axeman are just running around. They don't really have much to do, honestly, right now. I was going to try to save their ammo for later use. And I was actually going to sally out here again and grab those archers. But this guy was smart, and this is something that annoys the crap out of me. Is I can't go out of this gate, and he can't come in the gate because no one has the gate. It makes no sense, in my opinion. Like, his troop, the troops on the walls should not be able to take the gate. It makes zero sense to me. But, yeah. So, um... Well, that's happening, my ally <laughs> Egypt is just giving up at this point. He's going to sacrifice some Egyptian infantry. They're going to get murdered. How many kills do they have? They got three kills. There you go. That's a, that's a actually a pretty good amount of kills for Egyptian infantry on Victorians. Um, he actually, you can see he got a lot of kills. He kept, he mainly held them back for a while. This one's at 156. That one's at 160. That one's at 88. That one's at 155. And 155, 157, and yeah, there's just a bunch of Victorians. So he's going to send up some more Egyptian infantry just to keep the enemy back for a little bit and allow his skirmishers to pull back and retreat back to these general. Um, that unit's wavering right there. And now you can see the Romans have brought up their archers and are now firing upon the enemy archers, which is a very good idea. Macedon, or Macedon is still holding pretty well here, but... He's slowly running out of troops. The shield bearers are just making their name known here, holding the center. This guy should have really used his archers quicker. I think he's going to try to. Yeah, he's now trying to, but it's kind of a bit too late against auxiliary Syrians. Like, not much is going to touch those guys. Even regular archers. <laughs> um, now, he's bringing, bringing over Royal Peltus, Levy Pikemen, and Militia Hublitae. And you can see my ally is just in full retreat at this point. He doesn't really have much left. He's got two Egyptian infantry, Nubian bowmen, slingers, his general, and he's got these troops over here. I do tell him to bring these troops back to the town square. We, I do not need them at this point. And you can see I'm kind of pulling back. I'm bringing my general back to support. Now, I don't think the scorpion has done anything yet. No, it hasn't done anything, but I will show you its use later. Um, I did use my Thoreo Spear, some of my ammo here. No, I didn't. Have I? Yeah. I did use this one's ammo just to kind of wear down the um, slaves here <laughs> by a little bit. And they did pretty good, but there, I'm still being overwhelmed here. And I'm running up another Hublete here. Now I'm trying to get my um, thing in range. Because he has some actual infantry coming up somewhere here. Yeah, Swordsman. He's got some Swordsman running up. I was going to try to get in range of them, and he has another unit over there. I think I fire at one of these guys, but it's so hard to get a unit like this in position to actually fire. Look at this view. Holy crap. This is a really cool view. But, I mean, seeing the wall be being overrun from this position really isn't a good thing. You better reload that thing as fast as possible. The Egyptian infantry are now breaking. Uh, my ally, he spread a lot of his troops out, like, supporting me and my ally. I don't know what that unit's doing on the wall there. Um, but Rome is slowly but surely actually being pushed back here, but he needs to hurry up because with a stack of brick... How many Victorians does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can see eight. He may have had more. I don't think my team may have killed any yet. Um, I don't think I'm bringing any troops back yet. I am running up some Sam Knights to support the fight. Of course, my Illyrian Levy couldn't beat that Kushite Slave Infantry. If it's life dependent on it, which it quite literally does. So, again here, I am going to turn my Thoreo Spirit um, on Fire at Will. Or not Fire at Will, I'm going to give him a certain attack order. Just to try to get some extra kills here. And they're getting a pretty good amount. I mean, they're on crappy units. This one got 50, this one has 36 so far. They do get more, though. But I just wanted to whittle down all these numbers here, which was pretty working. It was working pretty well. Um, my Helbate is slowly but surely being overwhelmed here. This Ballista is now firing. It only has one kill. That unit does get a lot of kills. I will show you it later. When, it actually, when the time actually comes. Now... My ally sacrifices a Galatian sword here. 
how many kills does this unit get? For, I mean, 45 Glacian um, kills on a Glacian sword, or on Victorians and Legionary cohort is not a bad. That's actually pretty good. Especially in a siege battle, I'd call them more useful on a field battle. Even though I never play Egypt because I suck horribly at them. Now, Macedon is actually pushing the Romans back here. Look at this. This is incredible, actually. I think it was the tide. I think it was the royal peltus that actually kind of turned the tide, and the support of the shield bearer. This shield bearer has 115 men in it and has 113 kills. That's beautiful, right there. That's how you use the shield bearer. I couldn't use that thing if my life depended on it. I am pushing back swordsmen and other units like that slowly but surely. But I am just. I can see the writing on the wall here, and I am pulling back my Sam Knights. Well, I was actually going to bring them over here. But I do eventually pull them back, seeing my allies fall back. And there are just so many Kush slave infantry upon this wall. He actually does. This is when I realized he had Shotel warriors on the wall. And I couldn't let those units go unnoticed. So I am immediately going to be firing upon this wall. My Hubbate, I just set them out for death to happen, pretty much. <laughs> this unit is only job right now is just to hold against the swordsmen and slave infantry. I don't think the... Um, no, they have the Shoto Warriors are right there. Now I turn my, my I turn my lag on pretty much because that's what's happening right now. I turn my Agrionian Axemen on. I love this unit. It's literally my favorite unit in the game. I always bring them. And then we got another cool view here. Look at this. This is something I do. I just be the guy with the javelins. I have an endless supply of javelins. I just pick up sticks or stones, and just start throwing them at people. And do quite literally whatever I could. So this unit is just racking up kills. It already has 24, but it's going to keep getting more. My Ballista is now also in range. No, it's not. It has 7, but it'll get more. Um, I'm going to pull back all these troops here. Again, I can see what's going to happen if I don't. I'm just going to lose everything pretty much. Um, I am going to leave my Levy Pikemen and a few other units just to keep these guys back. And allow my Skirmish troops and mainly my Ballista. I, it's actually a scorpion. I keep calling it a ballista. It is actually a pretty big difference. <laughs> um, my allies. Well, Macedon won. It was bloody though, very bloody. He lost like his whole army. And then I think it was at. No, it wasn't at this point. Um, but something pretty. The game gets pretty rough <laughs> soon. So you can see now the Romans are coming in. He's going to charge into this line of Levi Thoreo Spears and Egyptian Slingers here. Which, Levi Thoreo Spears and Egyptian Slingers are not something that's really scary. Or something that the Romans care for. They're just going to plow right through these guys, quite literally. I mean, they're going to sling as fast as they can, but it's not going to happen. Um, this Levi Thoreo Spear, I mean, it has five kills, but it's not going to it's not gonna stand up against the Victorian Guard. Now, something my ally here that he's doing wrong is he has formation attack on he needs to take that off and this unit would be a lot more effective like these guys on the side would be able to wrap around and attack those guys but he's actually really smart here he's got the tower in range which is going to get more kills than all his units here combined <laughs> so this tower is actually going to give a lot of support now you can see here uh, i have two sam knights and my thoreo spears coming back i thought i was going to run another sam knight back no i don't actually end up running the sam knight back He's going to sacrifice himself here. Now this Agrionian Axeman got 70 kills throwing at the Javelins. Um, so my Samnites engaged here. What I should have done immediately is ran this Agrionian Axeman around and attacked the rear of that Shotel Warrior. I would have immediately won the fight, but instead I'm going to engage with my Samnites, which is a pretty bad idea actually. Um, Shotel Warriors are just a better unit in general. I think they have better melee defense and also a way higher attack than Samnites. Literally everything in the game has an atta high, higher attack than Sam Knights. But it's actually a pretty even fight. That guy just got gutted there. It's a pretty even fight. A lot more even than I thought it would be, actually. Um, I think that's pretty much it for a while, actually. Well, this happens. Um, the Roman player comes in with his Victorian Guard. My ally is smart, though, and he puts his Nubian bows on this incredible position because the enemy can't actually get up here. And he's got these Egyptian slingers just pelting the back of these guys. And now I'm going to run, run in my Hellenic Royal Guard. I'm going to give my teammate battle rhythm here. 
And this guy's gonna see the situation. I'm gonna get another lag spike, and he's gonna pull out of here. And that is actually a very good move right there. Um, and he, now he's just gonna sit in front of these Hellenic Royal Guard, which is pretty much the only thing you're gonna be able to do against these guys. I wouldn't push that. So Macadon is actually Sally out here. I did not see this during the game, and he just slaughtered the um, Romans. Um, I am just still falling back, but now you can see I've thrown the Agrionian Axeman into the fight, and that is going to finally tip the balance of this into my favor here. And the only reason I'm able to do this is because this unit is sacrificing itself, and that is no joke. This unit up here is just it's sacrificing itself, honestly. It's got a, I think it has a few, yeah, it has 123 kills. That's actually really good right there. And it's just going to get more as these people sacrifice themselves. Now, I did move my... Holy crap, I am getting such bad lag spikes. It's got 24 kills. I don't know why this is happening. It's getting really annoying, though. Um, this was a mistake by the Roman player. Um, this Egyptian Slinger doesn't actually get that many kills. But this guy kept trying to form Testudo, but my allies, Nubian Bows, were just racking up kills upon kills. It was maddening. And then... That unit began to waver, and I think it might break here. I don't think it's... Yeah, there it goes. So, uh, we broke a Victorian. And he's just going to walk by this Egyptian Slinger. And this unit is just going to... It only has 16 kills, but those 16 kills are in a Victorian um, guard. So, I'd count them as pretty valuable. And then I realized this guy dismounted his general. I don't know why you would do that. And then another Victorian. Oh, it only has six guys in it. That yeah, that one just broke too. He does his Kushite slave infantry beat my Illyrian levy back. Doesn't surprise me there. Um, more Shotel warriors have joined the fight, which is just gonna screw my poor units over here. They are doomed at this point. Just as they were beginning to win too, they were finally beginning to push this unit back, and they've just been hit by javelins, and now we're about to get charged here. And that guy just got flipped. So, look at this dude. He's coming with the palm leaf. I mean, it's a golden, but still, there you go. Hit him where it counts. <laughs> look at this guy. He's wild. He's not even fighting. He's just raising his shield and rallying people. Um, I keep getting lag spice. I apologize, by the way. Now, I... Th I think not much is happening. I think I'm going to try to speed it up, but yeah, that's not going to work. Thanks, Rome 2, for adding the speed button, but not allowing it to actually work. So my ally is just kicking the crap out of the Romans over here. I guess we can just watch this combat for a little bit. Um, the Romans are kind of running away here. The Galatian sword is still alive. Holy crap. That can't be the same Galatian sword. That is definitely not the same Galatian. Actually, no, it might be. That, that is. Wow. It's actually kind of surprising. Um, yeah, not much is going to happen. I mean, we can watch my Ballista Fire. Actually, we can just come up here because um, I did move my pikemen forward just to push him back some. This guy was making weird moves the whole game. Like, I don't understand what he was doing half the time. But, yeah, apparently he knew. Um, my Agrionians have been off, pushed off the battlefield. My Samnites are not going to give up here. They have 150 kills. That is really, really, really rare really good I can't talk um, Levy pikeman begins to waver here at 118 man this is just depression at its finest I get the unit back though behind archers just the archers literally saved this unit it's not even funny the unit does um, end up lining up here though and I think it stabilizes yeah that stabilizes here and he's gonna see what I'm doing this is gonna pull back again so he's being pretty smart. Um, pretty much nothing happens at this point. 
I don't think the fast forward button's gonna work. Well, no, it is actually. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much just a very long waiting game. This guy wouldn't engage. He was calling. He pretty much called the Victorian guy useless, even though he actually did really good. Or you'll see that at the um, when the end results come up. He did really good. Alright, so I'm just pretty much moving my Greek Scorpion up. Um, it doesn't really have much to do at this point. None of my troops have much. Holy crap, fast speed. How many kills does it actually have now? That's 30. I thought it got way more than this. I thought it got like 60 or something. I'm usually able to get a few more kills with this unit, but it's just not really doing it right now. I think I will soon, but you can see I'm keeping his whole army back with a levy pikeman and some archers. I mean, he's just throwing javelins, shooting arrows, and using the arrow tower here, which is a pretty smart idea. But, um, what the heck? What is this unit doing? This is a levy pikeman that broke. And my Agrionian axeman is there. And my Sam Knight's there. That unit now breaks. This guy was using the weirdest abilities. He was using Warcry and Intimidate. The fact that he didn't just charge that archer there and just wasted his ability on it makes me wonder if this dude's alright. So now my Ballista is finally able to start firing here and it's just going to start racking up kills. I focus. I realized, this is when I realized he had Hellenic Royal Guard. I was like, you have Hellenic Royal Guard and you're playing as Kush. And he's just, he acts like it's a normal. And then he says they're mercenaries, which I know Kush, like I'm 90% sure Kush never got Hellenic Royal Guard as mercenaries, and I know they're not um, a unit available in their roster. Finally, we decide to attack this guy. My teammate's like, push forward and we can trap the Roman here. He's got a Praetorian Guard and a Praetorian, and my teammate is coming up. Arrows are coming from somewhere. Oh, they're over there. He's coming in with his shield bearers and hublites, which will crush these Romans, or at least the shield bearers were, will. But you can see my Sam Knights and Thrayo Spears aren't strong enough, and my teammate isn't pushing up his Hellenic Royal Guard. And like half my Sam Knight unit is inside this Hellenic Royal Guard. So eventually he will push that up though, and we will be able to beat these Romans back once and for all. So you can see it's a pretty grindy fight here. I mean the Thrail Spears don't really have to do much just but just put their shields up and hope for the best. So eventually that Hellenic Royal Guard will push up. And he will overwhelm that slave infantry there. So another weird thing, I'm sorry if I, you can hear me yawning by the way, because that's like the fourth time I've done it. Another weird thing this guy is going to do is instead of just charging up and taking out my ballista, he's going to have a skirmish fight with my ballista. I don't understand this. It's actually strange. He's wasting so much ballista ammo and allowing me to just fire back and do the same amount of damage pretty much. It was a huge mistake. And I'm pretty sure the only combat going on is this right here. So finally, my ally pushes up his Lenic Royal Guard. And my Sam Knights are still behind it. But this unit, which had zero kills, is just racking up kills. It's already got 15. And for a pikeman to get that many kills right there on Victorian Guard and Victorians is like a world record of pikeage. I don't know what pikeage is, just... just 
take it at that, <laughs> pretty much. So you can see they're actually tearing through these Victorians. I was surprised when I saw this. Like, I looked away for a little bit, and I came back, and I realized we were, like, just melting them at this point. I was very surprised. Did someone's general die? Something happened. It wasn't ours. Was it the Kush? No. See, like, instead of just charging the swordsmen that are already at 82 men and extremely tired and just worn down, instead of just charging them straight down this alley and saving his ammo, he's going to run all the way around and hit this unit from the flank, which is... I don't understand it, honestly, like that you're going to play like this. They're coming in. They don't waste the javelin volley. How many kills does this unit have? It's 54. And this ballista ended up with 60 kills. That's actually really good. I always like ballistas. They're fun. So I told my ally to just turn this um, Levy the Rayo Spear back and protect um, our units for as long as possible while we take this, these Victorian guards out. And you can see my ally's pikeman is just destroying face here. It's got 50 kills on a Praetorian guard. That's crazy, and my Samnites are even up in there. They've only got 48. <laughs> but again, Samnites are Samnites. I do tell my ally to form square here. They'll last a little bit longer. <laughs> He's got his Egyptian infantry over there. So again, I'm going to fast forward this because not much is going to happen. And I think it was at this point, or close, like, in like two minutes, the Kush player starts trash-talking Makedon for being useless, which I don't understand, because even though, like, he destroyed the Roman player, he starts saying Makedon is useless, and then that is going to backfire on him in a few minutes here, and you'll see why. And I think... It's around this point, also, when one of the Roman players leaves the game. And now you can see a bunch of Roman units wavering, and my unit wavering, but my units always waver. And the Kush player just decides to take eternity at this point. Which, I hate long siege battles like this, they're so annoying. Especially if you want to upload them to YouTube. It takes so long to upload a battle. But I wanted to get a longer siege battle since I rarely ever play sieges. And I don't think I ever upload them even if I do play them. So. Um, you can see the Romans are just being annihilated. And the Kush player is walking his units. So yeah, I think it was around this point, the Kush player's like, Macedon, you're useless, and saying all this stuff about it, about him. And then he also called the newer Roman useless, and I was like, alright, this is kind of getting annoying. And so, all of us, like, almost everyone in the game just started trash-talking this guy back. And I'll say one thing, he definitely deserved it. Especially for doing the glitch with Kush, and picking the worst units you could pick. Like, I definitely would not pick Hellenic Royal Guard for Kush. And there's abilities being used, I don't know why. <laughs> so I move up my Sam Knights. I was gonna charge that swordsman right there, but I think he pulls his pulls his pike back by pikes back. Holy crap. Or he runs he starts running his troops up to protect it, and so I was like, no, I'm not gonna fall for that trap right there. So I just keep that unit there, and then I think I run... No, I tell my ally to swing up his pikes to support me here. Yeah, he brings up his pikes, man, just pike man, just to support me a bit. He's going to see that and run his units away. Same with the Shoto warriors. And then I run behind his pikes. No, he charges me here with his pike men and Shoto warriors, so I fight for a little bit. But then I'm like, no, this is not worth it, and I run behind my ally's pike men here. 
but he's still using the worst general abilities in the game. I don't know why you would pick the, um, I think it's like, it's like Berserker General or something, and it's horrible. Like, it's just not worth it. Because, like, the ability use, if you can use it on someone else's general, yeah, that's use useful. But, like, the morale debuff isn't a good enough morale debuff that it's even useful. Like, occasionally you can route a unit off the field, but rarely you'll ever be able to. So, this is when um, me and my ally just make a dart for it. Like, we just charge this guy really fast. So, he's going to bring up an armored Shota warrior. And against two Egyptian infantry, that's going to kiss those two units goodbye there. So, he's going to rush up his Glacian Royal Guard, though. And those poor Egyptian infantry, they haven't gotten a poor one kill yet. And they're just being slaughtered. I mean, you guys live in the same uh, region. You should just love each other. <laughs> oh my god, this is horrible. This is like one of those action, or one of those uh, historical movies you see. And then you just see the one side just utterly obliterating the other. Um, so he br he's also bringing up his crappy unit, or Hellenic Royal Guard, that's not worth it. My ally is going to get his Glacian Royal Guard in there before they can get their pikes down, which was very useful, actually. And he's going to rack up a bunch of kills. Now, I'm running up with my Thoreal Spears and Hellenic Royal Guard General. And this guy's just going to pull through because this is what every player does in this game. It just runs through other guys. I don't understand this. This is kind of giving me the advantage, and my General does end up getting his pikes down here. Um... He should have ran away immediately because now my teammate can turn this Glacian Royal Guard here and start getting kills. And then this is when my ally kind of did it back to him. He pulled his um, Egyptian infantry through that unit. That was a horrible javelin volley. There come the javelins. And he gets into the um, uh, <laughs> ballistic crew, which is actually really funny. And so we're just going to chase this guy now at this point. And it becomes a running game at this point because this is what salty players do. Is he's gonna charge back again, and he's gonna start fighting us. And what he does next is just childish and ridiculous, honestly, in my opinion. I utterly obliterated his Hellenic Royal Guard with mine, and then soon he'll here you will see what he does. So, I guess we fought a lot longer here than I thought we did. I guess he realized he could actually kill that unit there. Yeah, and now he's going to run when he realizes he's screwed here. So, this is when the ch chase starts to start here. I'm also going to get up where we are also going to get a lot more kills just because he's running and our units are able to engage him there. And you can see his men are dropping like flies, actually. And that unit begins to waver. I'm pretty sure it breaks off the field. I thought it did. Then he's going to turn around and pin our guys down with his ballistic crew. And I was like, no, this, that's not happening. And I continue pulling through here. And again, everyone was just trash, talk, trash talking this guy because he's saying a bunch of crap about us. And then, no, what he said, the reason we all started trash talking him actually, is he said Macadon was not was useless. And I said, how is he? Like I said, no, he's not useless. And then he said, and then he told me to shut up and call me a noob, and I was like, all right. And then, like, everyone just jumped on him after that. Like, I don't understand where he got the noob from. And then he said he has eyes and he can see, and I was like, all right, this guy's like, there's something wrong with him. And then he starts, all his units start breaking here. And then, to make sure he couldn't run again, I actually immediately initiated the running of my Thoreo Spears here. And I'm just going to pull through this unit here. I don't know why my mouse wheel is being so weird. Um, I'm just going to start pulling through immediately before he can even get there. And I'm actually going to go for that tower there. So when he realized this side's done, he does it soon here. Um, we just eventually slaughter the rest of the Shotel warriors over there. And I think we push over here and he starts running or something. And my ally is bringing over his Egyptian infantry. So now we're running our troops back. And... Um... 
I thought he does it. And then he picked the worst general. No one picks a Royal Kasha Archer as their general. That's just a terrible choice right there. But eventually he... I guess he doesn't. He just We just sat here staring at each other. Now he runs up this Shota warrior. And then now he starts doing it. So pretty much what he's going to do for the rest of the game is run. Um, or at least for this last seven, few minutes here. He's just going to start running away. With his, um, what does he have? He has a Hellenic Royal Guard, probably a Shota Warrior. Yeah, a Shota Warrior, a General, and I think that's a Swordsman. And so we're all trying to cut him off here, trying to figure out what he's doing, because now at this point he just stops talking. He's kind of like one of those um, people that are just complete sore losers and can't take having a noob teammate. Um, he doesn't really do much. He just kind of walks around the battlefield. <laughs> so I should have cut him off um, sooner here with my Sam Knights, but I don't. So he's running around his Royal Kushai archers and um, other units here. Again, he's not going to do anything. <laughs> But again, this is actually really childish and pretty annoying that you're going to do this because you can't take losing. Like, you lost. You were winning the battle the whole game, and your teammates were beaten, and you can't take that. Now he's going to sacrifice a swordsman, which, or a Shota warrior that has 38 men in it. So I was confident enough with the troops that I had and what my ally had near here were more than enough to take this out here. So he's got a Shota warrior, a swordsman, his general, and that Hellenic royal guard. So I do actually manage to catch him here. I wasn't expecting to. With my 3 0 spears by form square, he charges his swordsman in. And guess what he does next? The freaking move of the century. He pulls out and runs away. Look at this. I've never seen su something in such glory here. So he's going to run over to this corner. This is ridiculous again i actually thought what he was gonna do which i'm happy he wasn't gonna do is there was 12 minutes left in the game i thought he was just gonna run around and not let us fight him but he sets up his um pikemen here and he's gonna try to hold this off which you're gonna see how this goes so he sets the spike he tries to lay a trap here and i'm like i just told my ally to go for that unit and i'll go for this one I don't understand what you're trying to make us think here with putting that unit right there. So, me and my ally are both going to go for that unit. And, yeah. And then I turn my pikeman here. He uses his stupid abilities again, <laughs> trying to break my unit or something. Like, a Sam Knight doesn't even have an ability. What are you doing? Like, you should have used that in my general, because I actually give my general that a rhythm. And you will see me melt this Hellenic Royal Guard here in seconds. I am speeding up, by the way, because the video is getting very long. I don't usually upload long videos, but you can see I'm just going to roll, roll this um, Hellenic Royal Guard over. And then he gives it an attack order, which was just the worst thing you could ever do. And that unit's going to break at this point. So we just have to get to his general, and that's pretty much it at this point. And then he's got one unit back there. And again, this is getting really laggy. I hate it when games do this. So we've got his caught his general here. And I think we kind of were all joking at this point, and we just all started running through his units. <laughs> so, yeah, it's over. So it was a costly victory. It really wasn't, honestly, in my opinion. So you can see my general doing good, Scorpion did good, Calvary didn't do good, Skirmishers, all except for one, did good, Hublites did well, Illyrian Levies did okay, Levy Pikemen did horrible, Italian Sword did well, Sam Knights did good, and Thoreo Spears did good. Dimitri is the guy he called useless. Um, his general did good, Skirmishers did okay, but against Syrian Heavy Archers, they are not going to last long. Hublites, a few of them doing good, some of them not. Um, Shield Bear is doing great. 
Levy Pikeman, he only had four, and then the guys were like, there should be a rule against Pikeman. And, I mean, 539 kills on a Pikeman is ridiculous. That's just more your fault than a rule against Pikeman right there. Even Alicia Hubbate has got 67 kills. And the Ray of Spears, only two of them really doing that good. And my friend's general didn't do that good. He didn't really fight that much. Egyptian Slingers did okay. Nubian Bows did great. Egyptian Infantry, actually two of them did good. Je um, Glacian Royal Guard did good. Glacian Swords, two of them ended up doing good. Hel Hellenic Royal Guard did good. Levy Thoreo Spears did well. Um, Thorax Swords not doing good. So this guy is the guy who charged headfirst into D Dimitri's pikemen. <laughs> General did horrible. Skirmishers did well. Actually, Skirmishers doing great. Even Vilates did good. Legionaries did pretty good. Prankapes did well. Legionary cohort, but again, it's Roman spam, so it's going to do good no matter what you do. So, Kush here, the whiner. His general did pretty good. So African scorpion not used correctly at all. Armored Desert Cav did well. Um, Archers did pretty good. Swordsmen did pretty good. Hellenic Royal Guard actually didn't even do that great. Shoto Warriors did pretty good. Armored Shoto Warriors didn't do that good. Slave Infantry didn't do that good. And Kutchite Slave Infantry did good, but that was on Illyrian Levies. This guy just... Yeah, this is pretty much what we had to go against, which is pretty scary, actually. I mean... Four Victorians and four Victorian Guard is something you do not want to face, especially look at the kills they got. I mean, a lot of kills. Only three of them not really showing their worth here, but this team won 569 kills. I think that was the highest kill unit in the game, I think. Because what did my teammate get? 539, yeah. That unit definitely carried the day there, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.